So we're at Doran Becker's Hospital. We've got John Lamb and Mike Bluehair there and others. They're protesting because um, a young girl has cancer. It was determined to be a uh, terminal. And they did uh, um, their cancer stuff on her and it, and it failed and the tumor got bigger. So his, her mom took her to alternative medicine in another state and uh, um, the cancer shrunk down 10% of its size and OHSU decided they were going to enforce their uh, ridiculous thing and force her to come back for cancer. So they issued charges, um, went and picked um, both Kaylee and her mother up and uh, brought them to uh, Portland. So, <laughs> this is really sad because, uh, you know, uh, Dorn Becker's probably going to wind up killing this girl. I understand she's in critical condition. Now that they brought her back, I'm going to go over and talk to her mom. How are you? Alright, how you doing? Good. Hey Bob, how you doing? Alright, how you doing? Good. Thanks for coming out. Hey, you're welcome. The more the better. I heard about it yesterday, but I was in Eugene. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad you're able to go and cover that. So the, your mom, your daughter's the one that's involved no, in this? No, okay. no, no. It's a gal uh, named Christine. Uh huh. Her daughter. Okay, where's Christine at? Um, Christine has a court order. They arrested her for, she's for not custodial allowed, interference. She's not allowed to be here. Yeah. She's not allowed to protest. Yeah. She's not allowed to be here or she's protest? It's a probation violation and she's trying to beat the charges so she can get her daughter back. Uh huh. Custodial interference. They charge her with that felony. Custodial interference. For trying to get a second opinion. For trying to get a second opinion, a medical opinion yeah, on her daughter. Her discovery is all of this big, you know. Like we're using yeah. terabytes of discovery in our <laughs> past cases with friends. Hers is just went to Nevada to seek a second opinion with another doctor against OHSU's wishes, as if the doctor is. OHSU is not a patient. OHSU is who went to DHS and told them, I, we want her back here. Wouldn't even let the mom decide on a different hospital. Kylie didn't want to come back here. And they wouldn't let her go anywhere but here to this research hospital. Really? Yep. Yeah, someone told me that her daughter's in critical condition. Yeah. She's just touch they're, and go. They're not giving us much, info, any information. She's, we believe she's in the building, but they're not even allowing anyone to visit other than strangers. And, uh, yeah, they. Uh, I tried to go across the uh, br uh, sky bridge, and they asked me uh, what a business I had and if I had ID. Where? Up there. Over there. Yeah. You're and stopping people all over there. Yeah. They, the, I, the, I went to use a. I had to use a restroom yesterday, so I go up there. <laughs> you know, you go in the elevator, you go up there. They said, "What's your business here?" I said, "I don't need to use a restroom." They escorted me to the door of the restroom and waited for me to come out. Really? Woo. Uh, yesterday, they even changed the bus route because of this protest. They changed the bus route. You see the, the bus stop right here? Yeah. Okay. They. I, we've seen them today allowing the bus to stop here. Uh huh. But yesterday because they heard we were going to be here. They apparently were dropping off and picking people up a quarter or a half a mile away to avoid people coming here by bus. Huh. Yeah, our supporters were getting dropped off half a mile down the road, down the road that way, and then back up another road. And that's ridiculous. Isn't that crazy? Yep. That, that's a, you know, that's what's known as a prior restraint under First Amendment law, which mm -hmm. is the government uh, wanting to either 
impose a law or impose a, a policy uh, to prevent people from speaking. Mm -hmm. That's a prior restraint. Yeah, we weren't even here. It's not like we were here being violent and aggressive and they had to mm -hmm. hear the bus stop because people were scared. We yeah. weren't here yet. Yeah, it's a shame when uh, a hospital can go to DHS and sit there and say, we want her here. Uh, especially when they, uh, when, when OHSU cannot heal her. Yep. All they could do is cut her up like the butcher Jaffrey Mubeen did. Uh-huh. We'll do live stream in a few minutes and try to get some more people down here. We just wanted to get all our ducks in a row and all right. get all set up and we're running around all day getting signs and mm -hmm. trying to get out the door. Right. I'm not moving fast today. I'm too tired. <laughs> John, how you doing? Good, good. They went bring you up here to the bus? Huh? They didn't bring you all the way up here or did they? No, well, um, I went through the hospital. Oh, okay. I got a sprained knee. Oh, yes. And um, I tried to take the sky bridge and they wouldn't let me take the sky bridge. And the cops over there told me to go through uh, the VA. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> John, I just saw this thing go steel. The cars are upstairs, yeah, they're yeah. spying on us. Uh, it's in the car. I should go get it. It's a car. <laughs> <laughs> glad you made it. Uh, yeah, thank you. I'm glad I made it too. Yeah. Haven't seen you in a while. It's been a while. I've been laid up. <laughs> yeah, you said you got into that car accident? Yeah, it was a bad car wreck. Well, this is the case of... I don't know. That's why I don't drive through Montana. <laughs> I, was with, I broke both legs. Uh, and, yeah. Tore myself up for Because they got like a minimum speed limit. <laughs> they do. Uh, like 45 or 80. Huh. Or taking her to uh, another state. I hit a stop semi on the yeah. state. To get a second opinion, to consult other doctors about her situation. She has... Cancer in the liver. And, uh, she underwent invasive surgery against her will and her mother's will uh, uh, several days ago. And uh, oh, this one of the most outrageous cases of medical kidnapping that I think anybody uh, has ever heard of. No, I get it. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, the sign says jail to seeking a second opinion. Imagine seeking a second opinion and take your daughter to another uh, doctor for a second opinion state and you're arrested by the FBI, charged with multiple felonies, daughter taken from her custody, medically kidnapped, and forced to go on invasive surgery on some tumors. By the way, the daughter does, uh, uh, her mother does not dispute that she needs, she has cancer and needs treatment. The, the mother is just, was looking into all options. And was arrested, and the daughter is now out of her care, okay. and is under armed guard. The daughter's not even. Imagine being, uh, you know, 14 years old, and being mm. surrounded by strangers, not even being allowed to see your family. They've been. She's been taken from her family, and is undergoing invasive surgery against her will, surrounded by strangers that she doesn't even know. When I was out here last night, I did very little research before I came out. I mean, I look at two or three little things, and then you know, I just trusted Kelly Stewart that there'd be something on her that would be covered. covered. But then when I went home uh, last night and started editing my, my videos, I saw the video of Kylie in her own words saying what happened, and it's, it's gut-wrenching. I mean, if that doesn't affect you, you're dead. 
you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, just, yeah, I, I think she's very brave and she's very well spoken. Like in the video, she just came off as a remarkable little girl, you know. Like I can't imagine most kids speaking uh, that well about the situation. And, like I was very impressed by it. Really. <laughs> This is the, one of the most outrageous cases I've ever heard of. You know, frequently when when the government takes a child from the family, you know, the family is embarrassed and ashamed. They don't want to go public because, you know, they haven't, whatever, they haven't done it perfectly. They, for whatever reason, there's no such thing as a perfect uh, parents. And, you know, so there's a lot of embarrassment and humiliation about it. This mm -hmm. is a case where, I frankly, this is a test case. This is like the most outrageous thing I've ever heard of. It is. It really is. Like, um, I'm taking it back. I had a hard time articulating in the words because I was so like angry when I first started getting into this. There's been people covering this for months. It's not for Brandon Farley. And, uh, he's been covering the story since the very beginning. But uh, remember Johnny come lately? Well, here. I guess, I guess that's the important thing. Yeah. And th this, you know, the whole problem is so much over. Funding and, and just these agencies are growing up. They're so uh, unaccountable. They have so much money and power. Uh, if you, by the way, even today we, we are hearing through the grapevine that the the uh, I don't even know who it is, the probation office or whoever. Uh, maybe it's family services or, or or CPS is telling the mother. That, DHS, that yeah. is a DHS. A case they're, they're actually telling, the, her caseworker is actually telling her, we're hearing this through the grapevine by rumor, mm -hmm. that uh, you know because we're out here protesting, they're going to punish her uh, by not allowing to see her, uh, her daughter, uh, unless we stop. Now just think about this. She, she isn't even in control. I mean, there are a few people who are you know, mm -hmm. in communication from time to time, but she has no control over us. No, I'm doing this because I feel it's the right thing to do, and I'm not taking orders from Kylie. Exactly, Long, it's, so. it's outrageous. Mm -hmm. that, but there's a caseworker <laughs> somewhere, I guess yesterday, that said, oh, we heard this protesting, that's gotta come to an end. We, you can't criticize government. You can't criticize CPS or DHS or family services or this hospital. Because, oh, we heard you're protesting, you're criticizing, so now you're going to be cut off even more. Well, it's just outrageous. Sounds like, sounds like DHS needs to be protested. Yeah, DHS offices need some uh, First Amendment audits, I believe. Yeah, they, they need definitely, to them. definitely and, need some. Like, cop watchers and auditors are basically like a pit bull in the leg of opportunity. Like, when we, when we get a story and something riles us, we... we uh, Go the extra mile. So, if if this is true that they're actually doing that to her, then it's going to get ugly for them. There won't be any violence, but there will be a lot of embarrassed authoritarians. <laughs> there most certainly will be. <laughs> and by the way, this is not even with a judge's permission. By the way, the courts are bad enough, but no court has ordered this. No court has said don't protest. Uh -huh. uh, they have, I believe, told her that she can't protest. That's why the mother is not here. She's not allowed to be here. <laughs> um, Wow, you know, it's a, it's just astounding. And now we hear so that court order, because then. people are protesting. You're saying it's not a court order, is it? I, I honestly don't know. Okay. I, I'm not the right person. Just curious. I just don't know. But but, but we understand that uh, she's been told by her probation people that she is not to come here, protest. Yeah. Not to, you know, she's not even to seek to see her own daughter because her daughter is in the, you know, foster care sort of preparation or whatever it is, mm -hmm. uh, she's not even to come here to criticize, to protest, and if she does, she'll never see her daughter again or it'll be even longer. I hope that she's uh, got the presence of mind and that she's cognizant. If, if the mother's watching this, I want the mother to understand that she can legally record phone calls with government officials. It's a one-party consent uh, 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 state and if I was the mother I would be recording every single phone call I get from these bastards and use it in court especially if they're threatening her and mm -hmm. she can use that to claim his damages because that's just wrong if it, if it is true because I don't know yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. imagine I mean this is the kind of thing where it's almost like under the Patriot Act where 
where they, they, you know they search your records and then they tell you if you know that you're not to even tell the public that we search through your, whatever, your phone records, your library right. records, or whatever. You know? <laughs> and by the way, if you tell anyone under the Patriot Act that they searched your library records, uh, it's up, uh, you're subject to up to five years in federal prison. Hmm. This is where we're. This is where this country is going. Where government is such a bully and all controlling control freak that it just tells you, hey, we're gonna do whatever we want with you, we're gonna take anything we want, your life, your property, your children, your family, and if you complain, we'll destroy you even further than we, we already have. Well, I'm about to wrap, wrap this live stream up, but I do want uh, you to plug, I, I do this to everyone, I ask them to plug what they do, and uh, where, where, where can you be found online?